Hello guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. This is Pramod and in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to test GraphQL queries using Postman. So this is going to be a step by step tutorial with a demo that I have uh, specially planned for you. So let's get started. So in this uh, tutorial, you're going to learn about what exactly is a GraphQL, how the GraphQL is different from the REST API, and how to test a GraphQL queries in a Postman. So, uh, and uh, apart from it, we are going to test uh, our different GraphQL queries using Postman and we'll create certain test cases around it. So it's gonna be a hands-on tutorial with little bit of theoretical concepts. So let's get started guys, right? Okay. So uh, if I tell you that what is GraphQL, probably I'm expecting that you already know about it because since this is a tutorial about how to test the GraphQL queries for a postman, right? But uh, let's a uh, little bit revise about what exactly is a GraphQL. So GraphQL, as you already know, that it's a query language for an APIs. So what you can do is that you have to just ask uh, client, what exactly client can do is that he just uh, can ask whatever fields he needs and uh, he'll ask to the GraphQL server and it will re return whatever the data according to the fields that he have mentioned. So uh, clients have a power to ask for exactly what they want and you have to just send a GraphQL query to an endpoint where and you will get exactly what you need. Nothing more than that and nothing less than that, right? But if, if you think about uh, the REST APIs, so uh, suppose, let me give an example. There's a REST API where it will give you the, all the information of the user. But if you want to use only name, name and age, you cannot ask because when you ask the name and age, you, what the REST API, the endpoint is returning is everything that you want. So it's this is a problem of what we call overfetching. And sometimes there's a problem with the underfetching also. For example, if we want to have the full data of a user plus something else, then we have to use multiple requests in a REST API, right? So that's how the REST and GraphQL differ. Let me give an example. So let me show you. It's a very wonderful example, which explains how exactly REST API works. So uh, here, as you can see, a user is asking a GET request. So if you mention the user ID, user post and followers, and in the second step, you want to ask about the post what exactly the post that this user has done and in the third request is asking the followers so uh, these are like multiple requests has been made for a particular rest api resource right but let me show you that this is the same concept into a graphql so what exactly you can do is that uh, you have to just mention a one single query where you can where you can just mention the user id your, and what exactly fields that you want. For example, we want name, post and followers, right? So we have just mentioned the single query and the GraphQL server will basically returns you the overall response. Isn't that amazing guys? So GraphQL, uh, if you go, uh, go to Google and probably if you are uh, known to that, that GraphQL is like a uh, becoming an interesting standard right now. And uh, if you go to this article, it's basically wonderful to explain the difference between the GraphQL and REST and how GraphQL is better than REST in anything. So GraphQL adoption is getting increased. So we have to be prepared uh, if the GraphQL queries are getting implemented in your REST API or API or APIs or in your projects, then you should know how to test those APIs. And the wonderful tool that we have to test any APIs is postman and we love postman right so uh let's come to the postman so postman 7.2 version basically has introduced a new support for GraphQL. so uh if you open your uh, postman you can download the postman you if you want to go to this uh get postman.com and download it and here if you go to this body part and if you select this graphql here you can mention your graphql query and your GraphQL variables and you, you will get the response. So this is a new, uh, basically you can say kind of uh, feature that they have introduced. 
right so let me give you a simple example how graphql looks like so this is a basically a demo app for a graphql where what you can do is that uh, this is an endpoint uh, with a graphql mentioned as an endpoint what you can do is that you can query the hero and friends so what are the fields we want is that any hero uh, with the names and friends so what we are going to do is that we just click on this run button and basically it will return up return a certain kind of json response the json response contains that okay the hero is r2d2 and it has a friend of luke sky uh, luke sky skywalker han solo and uh, leia again so uh, it's a basically star wars or uh, uh, you can say hero the heroines so that's how graphql works what exactly uh, if what exactly we are want it basically returning us. suppose i don't want any kind of friend so i just uh, omit this and just run it so it basically going to return the name of this hero and it will not return you the friends that's how simpler uh, you can say graphql works okay so uh, let's see uh, we have an example so let's uh, uh, let's use this simple example also said for the first one so what we are going to do is that we'll put our first graphql query and we'll just make change the mode to post and after that in the body part in graphql we are going to mention our first query okay so what is the first query the query is looks like this this is a structure you can say or a schema for a particular query and now we are asking we don't have any graphql variable right now and but in second example we are going to use any graphql query uh, with graphql variable also so now we are going to click on send button and it's going to return it is taking time one second yes now it is returned if uh, just make sure that you are in the pretty pretty full uh, response so this is a response that we have got and this is the response that uh, okay it's a dummy api so and any time you run it it will just res return you this uh, response and the response is 200 okay uh, with like nearly 2 seconds of uh, response time it's you can save the response if you want to so and now how to test this right so what you can do is that you just go to test and we what we are going to test suppose we want to uh, check if the name of name of the response that we are getting is r2d2 or not what we are going to do is that this is the simplest thing you can just uh, go to request body and we are basically interested in getting json value right so we click on it and basically it's going to return our json data dot value equal to this so uh, if we want to get this this especially this field uh, so let's do one thing let's uh, get the third name that if the th third name is equal to uh, leia or not leia leia i guess it's leia uh okay so uh this is how it works so we are going to just json data and we are getting uh we'll get data dot hero and hero has a friend friends friends in array contain second of name and let's let's change it to Oops. so suppose this is our data so we are going to basically going to verify it the response and here we have so now what we are getting is our uh, json data is a response that we are getting if you want to see the response you can do console dot log here also and you can get the whatever data it is returning so it's basically going to return this overall json and uh, what i am interested is mainly is that json data dot hero i want to see the response of it so if you want uh, okay i just click the save button so what you can do is that just click on a view and here's a postman console you can see the uh, console dot log uh, whatever the logs are getting printed in this window right okay so let's do until let's send it and see how it goes okay so our test case is passed and uh, it is passing let's see the response okay so uh, we are getting uh, the response here so json dot data dot hero we got the value that friends with the name and this is basically the request whatever it is that we have mentioned all right so this is our like the first test that we have written for this uh, graphql test uh, graphql query uh, i would suggest you to just uh, go with like standard status code like 200 also added and uh, one more thing you can add is that uh, here in the headers 
sometimes uh, okay you can uh, add the timing convention also but uh, it won't make much sense so let's do an another another example where we are going to pass certain variables also so these are like graphql variables which you can use also right so i have one uh, one example so it's a spotify example it's a spotify dummy app uh, i'll go to new tab i'll just enter it and go to body and select the graphql so what i'm getting okay so i'll use this and uh, here we have uh, like whatever it's a query and basically this query what exactly this query done is that uh, is doing is that you have to mention a particular name of an artist it will return you the name image and the album okay so what you can uh, this is a one this is like a graph variable that we are using an artist we can use uh, dynamically so what i'm going to do is that uh, uh, i'll create one environment so let let's call it demo one and here we are going to basically mention the prop value of artist and uh, i'd like to go with like mickey sing mickey sing and let me enter the current value also so now what we have done is that and demo one is done let's close it out and we have just mentioned the demo one as it so now what exactly will going on is that the whatever the value of this artist it's getting set by as a mickey sing so what we are sending is that we are basically uh, sending a graphql query with a uh, you can say a artist name which is a mickey sing and what we want is that we want name image and albums right let's send it out and see how it goes so yes okay so it works it works very well and now it is returning us that the name of the artist is mickey sing so let's see if the image is right uh, image let's go to google and see if the image of the artist yes so image is right this is mickey sing and and we are getting the albums at oh, okay that it, it is returning a certain albums right yes and the full it's basically giving us some more details like full name and more albums so it basically returning us two uh, you can say two kind of uh, results it has two results uh, the query artist has basically returning a two results the name image of albums it's a basically uh, you can say an, an array which contains two artist with the name image and albums and uh, basically uh, there are like two art artist matching with mickey sing it's mickey sing and the another one is also mickey sing narula something like this yeah but that is that is a, like different one it's basically will i pretty much sure this is not a uh, mickey sing but it's getting matched okay that oh let me see no, who is this art okay we have double quotes okay this is totally different it doesn't okay so let me close the console so um, now we have result of this so we can write a particular test case like go to this test care test tab you can write uh, uh, what we can do is that just do it json value we want to first check that if the name of the artist that we are getting is mickey sing or not so right json dot data dot query this so let me go to query artist and it's an array so we are going to with zeroth element dot name and so it should be mickey sing the first one okay this should be mickey sing right and uh, what we want is that uh, we want the first album we want to check if the first album is there in our mode not so we are going to basically duplicate this thing and uh, this is like albums albums and it's an array so the first one is will be zeroth one so it should be tere naam 
and then just going to copy and paste here okay it's let me type it out Tere naam. Okay. so uh, let's see so let me send it again and see if our test cases are passed or not so one of the test cases is failing so Darshan is saying that Tere naam is not deeply matched with Tere naam okay so what we can do is that basically it's a string mismatch and uh, what we, oh it is a mistake so we have to mention na name right it will match now right in our test cases pa passed so uh, it's a well, like a small tutorial uh, where you can uh, how you can test your graphql queries using postman so uh, let me give you certain uh, links to read it out uh, this is the main website of graphql.org you can go through it i'll mention these two uh, examples and i would suggest you to read this article it's a very wonderful article written how what is the difference main difference between the rest and graphql and uh, how rest k rest apis are basically uh, have a limitation of uh, they have a limitation of under fetching and you can say over fetching and uh, you can play around with this uh, this uh, graphql query playground and let me know if you have any issue so uh, i hope this makes sense and so guys i will be sharing like more tutorials related to api testing selenium and testing at me so i hope you will like it and uh, thanks a lot and see you in the next one please like and subscribe and i have one uh, group related to software test automation so you can join go to facebook.com slash scroll test uh, it's a scroll test not dot com and uh, where you will find a group you can join that group and i'll share like lots of uh, different important points or you can see articles around it so uh, see you in the next one thank you